Hello everyone, I'm Jason Parker and I'm currently streaming live on two phones with two different apps. It's an evolutionary change in the way we view content. On the one hand, I've got Meerkat and on the other, Periscope. Now let's compare the two. Both live streaming apps only work on iPhones, at least for now. You can do this spontaneously or you can schedule it for a future date. Using Meerkat, you can broadcast yourself and notify those following you right away. Or you can see the live broadcast of those you follow on Twitter and view it immediately. You can see how many people are watching, you can like the stream, and make comments. If no one you know is streaming any live video, you'll see a mostly blank page. And once a stream is no longer live, there is a way to save to the broadcaster's camera roll, but your audience on Meerkat will be out of luck. There are also some major differences between Meerkat and Periscope. With Periscope, now available and backed by Twitter's enormous audience, there's a huge influx of new video streams, both from those you know and those you don't. It features three videos at the top, then a giant list of other videos from around the world. It's a lot like channel surfing, and with so many options, you'll likely find a lot more streams you'll enjoy. Like Meerkat, you can like videos using hearts and make comments. But with Periscope, broadcasters can post where they are located using GPS, showing you exactly where the activity is happening and follow along turn by turn. These live streams will also be viewable, even after it's no longer live. Meerkat may have started the revolution, but Periscope is set to take over. It offers more features, more ways to get connected, and more people that are part of the Twitter community. The sky's the limit. With these live streaming apps, the way we experience events happening all over the world from a very voyeuristic point of view will change dramatically. It may be addictive, it may be mundane, or it may be a complete game changer.